Yo, what up y'all and welcome back to another one. Before we get going here, really quickly, I wanna let you guys know over at duckswaterfowl.com and buckshunting.com. That's right, ducks and bucks. We are doing 50% off both sites all next week, Monday through Sunday. I will link bucks and ducks down in the description below. If you guys wanna pick up something at literally half off normal price, I would do it next week, Monday through Sunday. Don't forget, chalk it up. Let's get into the video. Today, uh, I'm excited for today's video. I really am. Um, we got new decoys and new shotgun. The funny thing about today is that the decoy by itself, not even decoys, costs more than the shotgun. I, uh, I got 300 bucks and uh, the old brand new Stoger M3500. You guys really enjoyed that video when I when we shot it and we tested it and we tested all the tungsten and different shot, but I haven't got to show you guys this yet. I bought this bad boy last year and uh, haven't got to show it to you all sat up with the fan on it. Uh, I just threw this fan on it. This is a uh, Rio fan that I shot, I don't know, probably two, three years ago, but this is a uh, Dave Smith decoy, DSD turkey tom and let me tell you what if this thing don't work man i don't know what will uh it's been a hard season y'all have been here with me uh, i need to get a beard to put on here it's got a little hole for it but check out the flocking on top here's the back not bad right it moves in the wind real nice but honestly it's been a tough season like i was saying and uh, for one reason, we don't have a lot of turkeys uh, the last, I would say, three plus years, five years, the last two to three years especially, have been extremely difficult. And uh, this year is by far the worst. Me and Frederick are missing our duck and goose hunting, aren't we, buddy? We sure are. But I was like, you know what? Turkey camp's getting ready to kick back up. I'm headed out to Easter Kansas with all the boys. We're gonna have special guests, special force military gentlemen uh, that we will be hosting, cooking for, filming their hunts. Uh, you guys may or may not be able to meet them, see if I can show their face or not, but I'm definitely gonna be able to film their hunts. So it's gonna be exciting. I really want you guys to tune in for those videos. These folks are out there on the front line uh, protecting me and you while we sit at home and make videos or watch our TVs or play our video games. So uh, utmost respect for these gentlemen. I've never met them. The last group that we had in from Special Ops Excursions, uh, that is the uh, group, the sanction that hosts um, hosts these fine gentlemen. Uh, the, the last three guys were amazing. Um, and you know who you are. I guarantee you they're watching. So we're ready to roll. We're gonna be using this bad boy all uh, turkey camp long. It's gonna be a four day turkey camp. So lots of videos to be made, guys. Oh, sorry, buddy, did I step? Come here, did I step on your foot? I'm sorry, Frederick. Oh, not gonna beat the dead horse. A lot of you guys have heard me talk about it. I am booking waterfowl hunts. Yes, duck goose hunts for this upcoming 22-23 season. If you're interested, go to sandhillflywiz.com, fill out the request to book form. Yours truly will be giving you a call. Well, we are headed. I uh, figured I'd do a little bit of scouting along the way. See if I could spot any midday Tom strutting around. Uh, didn't give you guys any information on the hunt, so long story short, uh, Gerald spotted this bird, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Pretty hard to pattern, uh, but I think the later that it gets now, we got some good weather today. It's breezy, not real windy, which will help. He's been holding up midday, you know, about 3, 3.30ish. That's what we, that's all we really know. Uh, in this abandoned little like uh, trailers, like there's two like trailer houses, abandoned trailer houses. And it's got some other equipment in there and some tall trees and it's pretty thick. So it butts up to a small little pasture where they're feeding cows. And sure enough, he struts across that pasture, comes and hangs out in the trees during uh, the heat of the day, per se, and then goes back to roost uh, in the evening. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to make some laps around the section, try to spot them. Uh, if we spot them, it'll obviously be a different game plan, but we'll probably end up sitting up close to the cows-ish. 
uh, right outside the right outside the cows in the other field probably around those abandoned trailer houses it could be really cool one more thing this bird's beard is not very big now it's definitely not a jake it is a tom but girls like i just i don't know if it's just not big or maybe it has a little bit of beard rot going on who's like it does look like an old turkey and probably needs shots so we'll see well These are the woods that I'm talking about. It gets pretty thick. Oh, my brakes are bad. Oof. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to see him. I just want to find out where he's at, locate him, and then set up from there, you know? We've got cows. These are the trailer houses that I'm talking about. Um, this is where he usually hangs out. Well. I got the truck parked. I made two laps around the section real slow. Might have seen him slip into a tree row, kinda headed this way. But where where the uh, trailer houses are on the back side of it. We're gonna walk in. I could have swore I heard a hen when I stepped out of the truck. I hope not. It would really suck if they were already in here and I just couldn't spot them because they were behind a log pile or something and I spooked them out. So hopefully we're going to beat them here, get these decoys set up. <sighs> Wish us luck. <sighs> well, a truck with two guys, an F-150 just pulled up, pulled in the driveway and I was already set up, almost sat down. Walked into the trailer house stills, walked out, looked like they were scouting turkeys, that's what I was scared of. I think this farmer uh, gives out permission to numerous people, so I was wondering if, you know, someone, someone could already came and shot this bird, so I really hope not, but I think I'm almost scared of getting shot with someone sneaking in. But they definitely just seen my truck, so hopefully they put two and two together and understand that I'm hunting here, so. The problem is that Tom decoy looks so good, you could sneak up and shoot it. You know what I mean? I'm not very good at these slate calls. I'm learning. <laughs> well, change of plans. Old Bradley, he's back in town. Back in town. Back in town. Look at that hat. Let's see the hat. Oh, next yeah. generation turkey the hat. Next gen turkey here. From Bucks. Go check it out. I'll put it down in the description. We are out east. The hunting at home sucked. Y'all seen it. Too many people around driving in, doing weird things. I was kind of scared I might get shot there, but we're out east. Oh no. Fred's in the truck. He's barking. We spotted uh, three turkey that are out far enough. We could not tell uh, what they were, but we're gonna send it and give her a go. We're gonna make a play. Mm -hmm. of our best bet should be to just get to that nipple where we saw him go over, yeah. and then just try to slip in right there and set the decoys up. Yeah. And come back. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in front of them. Yeah. Just try to get close, get the decoys out, then call. And then get back. Okay. Look at this place, guys. Gorgeous. Every valley has a creek. It is gorgeous out here. Enjoy the scenery, y'all. I know I will. Old car in the creek. Dude, this has to be unbelievable coyote hunting. We need to try it tonight. Y'all drop a comment down below. Should we try it tonight? I think we should. We're almost to the field. I gotta shut up. Well, we gotta be really quiet. Pretty sure we're within 100 yards of them. This cornfield. Bradley. 
Somebody's gonna put the decoys out here. There's cornfelt girls around a peninsula. And when we spotted them with the binoculars off the road, they were just going around. And so that was only about 10 minutes ago. Hopefully we're close enough to when we start calling, they come back, they see the decoy, and we can smash them. Bradley did uh, bring his shotgun as well. It'd be cool if we could both shoot one together, but there was only three birds, so it's good odds that good odds that Tom's in there. We just couldn't get the best eyes on him, you know. But here we go. We're up on a hill, elevated probably eight foot off the field surface, so shooting is awesome. I forgot my face mask. I just remembered that. Well, I'm gonna have to zip up. By the way, public service announcement. Check yourself for ticks. Last night I pulled well over 40 itty bitty bitty little ticks off of me. They're tiny this time of season, but if you sit in the wrong spot, which I'm kind of worried about now, you can get infested. I only sat for 10 minutes yesterday and picked over 40. It was disgusting. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Keep it going, Miko. Please be careful of these thorn bushes.
nice. Yes. Dude. Let's go. Yes. 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 Yes, dude. That looks so perfect. Oh. We did it, Bradley. We did it. Oh. Dude. Dude. I could not have Is this like recording? That. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. oh. Holy smokes. <laughs> Are they really? Oh no. Well. Good. Good good old jake killer yeah we're we're definitely a couple jake killers unfortunately but we've been uh trying to dude the, I, there's no shame in the game there the way they came in screaming and yeah. you couldn't see through the brush but you could see at least i mean he's got a little peg it's not much but not bad though i mean yeah, yeah it's a jake but we got a jake fan for the new dsd so exactly this is a win win yeah they were absolutely gobbling their head off. I mean, at, just pissed off. And they were like, well, we killed them right here. If you can imagine, we were behind Brad in that thick tree. And when you get down here, you just can't see a lot. Now, seeing this trail, look, look at this trail. They're probably gonna take this trail right to the decoys. Just like you were saying, just be patient. They, you were right. We, I should have been way more patient. They definitely, once they perked their heads up, though, I don't know if they saw us right there, but they definitely became they more stopped. cautious. They stopped. Yeah. Once they got to the opening right there, they weren't like a bat out of hell. They was like, okay, better yeah. make a decision because if you don't now, they could very well be. Yeah, and at that, again, hills. I'm sure a lot of you watching right now have done it as well, but, hey, I've been working my butt off, uh, absolutely working my butt off for a bird, and for me and Bradley to come out here and, get it done together that was we an awesome rained on. we haven't hardly been able to do anything the birds yeah. haven't been talking so i was like as soon as those started getting fired up and calling back it's like okay we, this yeah. is a nice change this is basically our last day of hunting out here too so i'm fortunate i'm glad i'm glad i'll take it um you know taking a jake is completely legal you can it it claims any bearded turkey so even i've heard bearded hens people yeah. have shot you know and Maybe it was accident, maybe whatever, but it has a beard, so here's mine. Here she is. Again, not too entirely proud of it, but after the season I've had chasing turkey, see, he's a Jake. Look, he's definitely a Jake, yep. yeah. Oh well, oh well. Uh, yeah. I, We're tagged out. Like I said, I could care less. That was fun as hell, fun experience yeah. with the boys. Dude, Jackson. that was got some meats and like I said, yeah we got some good meat the, the dsd needed the new jake fans so. yeah we're gonna go back and put this bad boy on there my new decoy y'all seen that so didn't need the new decoy we actually used uh brad's old decoys what brand are those avians uh dave smith they so oh, those are dave smith yeah. as well well i'll take it brad's a little better than mine but chalk us up as a couple jake slayers it's what it is baby it is <laughs> i'm happy for it though we're done i'm I don't have to spin gas anymore, driving around aimlessly, trying to get it done. So that was a fun experience. Any hunting experience should be fun. And that's what it was. You and your best bud out here, dude, awesome. Man. Yeah, that's like, I don't, I don't feel one bit bad about it. That was awesome. That, was, that was awesome. That was, that was fun. That was awesome. If well, would've, would've known it was Jake's, probably would've held off, but yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Take, take what you can get and by goodness i'll tell you it's been a struggle for me this season y'all have been here um I'm, I'm taking it and all of you haters right now if you want to hate go ahead drop a comment be my guest but if you were here in that situation you probably would have took that shot too without being able to see the beards or the spurs so it is what it is <laughs> you guys shot it's kind of on accident yeah you couldn't we shot them all the way over there and they were behind the brush we couldn't see their beards and they were pissed off gobbling just going insane really yeah, yeah they were, they were you couldn't tell that they were i mean you could not see their beard that's funny <laughs> we've been sitting here talking about it trying trying to justify 
No, it was it was cool. They came right down. We we saw them on the field, edge, and then we trekked all the way in here and finally got them to respond a few times. And then we got down in this corner and got them going, and then they just got fired up and it was back and forth, and they came right in. Well, we got supper. I say right in. Meat on the table. You're darn right. Meat and after the, the light, and what I was telling them after the struggle season I've had, hey. I'm happy to have an awesome experience with old Bradley because that was fun. Yeah. yeah. Better, I mean, fun. It's better than going home tonight with nothing. Exactly. Being like, oh, maybe we could just shot them. Who cares? Huh. Right. Exactly. Almost forgot you. Look what I found walking in. Uh huh. That's a nice one. Check her out. Always got to keep an eye open for them sheds out here. They're everywhere. Honestly, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not going to beat the dead horse. Uh, that was a fun hunt. Not going to go through it all again. Uh, I did want to tell you guys one thing before we get off here. Uh, hunting isn't always about <clears throat> getting a trophy. Hunting isn't always about uh, killing a lot of birds. Hunting definitely isn't always about going out, going out every time and always having success. Um, me and Brad will never forget that hunt. We did an awesome spot and stock, and the memories that we get to take home, that's what matters most. So uh, we got some good meat in the fridge, and that is that. I wanted to tell you guys a uh, couple other ways. If you guys are interested in watching any of my content, I am uh, on my podcast, me and OP Diddy. Uh, we have our own podcast, and we have really informative waterfowl podcasts, hunting in general, life, living the hunting life, all about YouTube and the problems it has. Uh, all kinds of different content over there. That's always linked down below and on Uncut Outdoors. I always post raw content over there, exclusive content that I don't post anywhere else. So that's always down in the description as well. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Lots of hunting, some pigeon trapping, some magnet fishing coming up your way. But uh, thank you all for being here. Until next time.